Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at a new entrant from Red Dragon. They have really increased their game since I first started doing this. Um, I, like many, started with the Red Dragon K551, K552, TKL full size and I modded that thing. I still have it and quite enjoy it but for a while they kind of just stayed in a specific lane, primarily gaming keyboards, but now they're really starting to listen to the community and have been developing some very nice enthusiast grade gaming keyboards, but they're kind of blurring that line. They're just developing good keyboards and I've got to give them mad props for that. So for today, we're taking a look at a new one. Um, they have revisions of different ones, but I believe this is a new line altogether called the Azure. It's a 75% low profile. It looks like it has an alum aluminum frame, but it is Chroma RGB compatible. In case you do use that Chroma RGB, you can match it across all of your lights and all your devices. So let's go ahead and open up the 75% and see what it has to offer. As with many of the new Red Dragon boards, they have the nice new logo on the box on the inside of the sleeve. Let me just set this aside for right now. Let's see what all we have in the box. Now, I like what I see right off the bat. Uh, not only do we have some extra accent keys, we literally had basically an entire extra keycap set for this keyboard. We got your wire switch and keycap puller. We got your USB-C to USB-C cable with a USB-A on a tail. We've got some extra hot swap switches because as many of you may know there seems to be a handful of standards for low profile switches so finding the right ones can be a bit of a pain but we have some spare ones in case something happens these are browns they are badged red dragon they do have a little bit of ping and just the slightest amount of tactility like browns are known to be or as I like to call them, drunk linears. But we've got four extra switches in there for 75%. That's pretty good. And we have some orange highlight keys. So we can switch out the arrows, the backspace, as well as the space bar. And then we have an entire other keycap set, which is it's very reminiscent of Dolch. I know it's not exactly Dolch, but they're shining through uh, their low profile keys. Keycap seems to be a direct contrast of what's on here. So technically, if you wanted to, it looks like you could create one dark gray or one light gray keycap set or just mix them up in whatever ways you like. So creativity wise, I've got to say that is pretty cool because they're practically mirror image version keycaps so if you wanted to go with one color you could if you wanted to mix it up in a different way you could having that option is really nice especially since you know you might not know if the low well, you'll be able to find low profile keycaps you know that will fit particularly well you know here you've got an extra set already in the box so mad props to red dragon on that one i've got to say that's a just a good move all right we got the manual here which i'm going to set aside got our stickers which we can always come to expect from Red Dragon. So putting everything uh, away except for the manual. Let's take a look at the body. We have one pair of feet so there's only going to be two different typing angles on here. We've got a nice pocket that feels like it's magnetized for the uh, 2.4 gigahertz receiver and out front we have we have three device slots for Bluetooth and one for the 2.4. Now taking a look around the side, we do have uh, a mode switcher. So if we want to go to 2.4 or to Bluetooth or be in the off position, we also have a dedicated Windows and Mac switch. You can see it's a quite slim and flat even profile. Go ahead and turn this on. Um, for some reason, these models 
all except for one, the ones that have had the open RGB. Their RGB seems to be quite dim, so I actually have to turn the lights down in order to even see them. So, I mean, it's pretty dark in here, and it's really hard to see those LEDs. So let me go ahead. So we've got a double shot. I would say this is probably ABS. And the highest part of the keycap is five millimeters, and the width of the body is actually 1.5, surprisingly enough. Now that's pretty good for a low profile keyboard. How about these stabilizers? Now we can see that they're plate mounted stabilizers and they are loose on the plate. They're pretty loose on the plate. And there's a glob of lubrication on the wire. It doesn't sound like there's anything below it. On some of these low profile switches, I found that the best way to remove them is actually from the sides as opposed to from the top and bottom. Because that's the only spot where they have a spot to grab onto. And wiggling them out actually makes it much easier. I've reviewed another aluminum frame low profile. I can't recall the manufacturer, but pulling out their low profile switch, and I do want to say it was different. They all have, seem to have different ones. It actually bent these little bars right here and right here where the stabilizers attach to uh, just by pulling the switch out. So the fact that these have not bent, they're still in the same place, gives me hope that this is made in a much better manner. Now the other one did have a clear bottom and this one doesn't, which I think helps. The top part of the case feels like an, a light aluminum, while the bottom half is a plastic. But uh, it has absolutely no give when I try to, to twist it. So it, it feels sturdy enough, despite it being on the lighter side, but it is a low profile. So I think that's one of the aims is to make them as light as possible. But as you can see, we have these pins, uh, the two corner side-by-side -side ones. I have some other uh, Otemus that are like this um, from a in the Yusu board. But if I were to pull out, just as an example, some uh, Gairon and Nufi hollow switches, they have their switch. One is actually horizontal, and the other one's vertical, and they're completely on different sides. So, and I have others that are similarly different. It would be nice if there was a standard uh, with low profile switches, and you know, that's fine if there be two, like maybe a cherry low profile and then chalk, because I know some people really love their chalk, and I've got nothing against that, but at least a standard and easy way to find switches in that standard. Anyway, I did. It would be nice if the switches on this keyboard came uh, already lubricated because there's a, there's a significant amount of ping and I can guarantee you that if these switches were lubed, and yes, I have lubed a set of these uh, low profile switches, and no, it was not a fun party at all. If you're looking to lubricate them, just to give you an idea, first you have to get the switch out without breaking it, and once you get it out, you'll find that your standard um, double ones will not they don't line up. There's no way to use this to open it. So what you're left with is having to pull each leg up individually and unclip it. But if you push just a little too hard, those clips are pretty fragile as they're so tiny. And if you break it, well, that's that. Uh, 
So you're increasing the time it would take to lube an entire set of switches. All right, I got one half of it. Uh, let's try the other half again. Use too much force and those clips break. But then you also got to <laughs> prevent it from reclipping back again. I got it off one side, got it on the other. All right. Hard to open it the way I usually like to open it, holding on to the the stem. But as you can see, it's completely different stem. The leaf spring, little short spring, um, and then huh, this one has a. It's new to me, or I just haven't seen this before. It has like a little because there is no bump on the leaf spring. It looks like a linear leaf spring it's got an extra little spring to provide the tactility go figure so if i try to keep it in the same orientation and i'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more because it could be this leaf spring and this shouldn't affect the tactility probably <coughs> over lubed it but it's not like nothing should be touching that I'm just trying to prevent it from vibrating resonating all right so window at the top the stem and the spring close it up all right I got rid of it it's a little squishy now though, though so All right, so because I'm stubborn, I'm gonna open it up just one last time, see if I can get rid of the squishy from the over oiling and see if I can just not have any ping. I mean, there's no ping now, but it could just be being covered up by the squishy squishy from the over, over lubing. Maybe by doing this over and over again, I'll get good at opening these. <laughs> and then everyone can send me their low profile switches for me to lube. No, please don't. I'm that was a joke just in case that wasn't clear that was a joke all right go ahead and run this through the middle of the spring to catch any extra lube all right and I'm gonna Take some from the top right here and make sure there's none in the middle. That's the most likely spot for the that squish, squish, squish sound. All right, so let's put the spring back in place. These clips are starting to stick out a bit from bending them, so they'll need press down. Yeah. So yes, I was able to, it only took three times opening it, but I mean, once you get it down, you get it down. Still has the same tactility, has that bump just at the top. It actually, it's, I, I dare say it's actually a little bit more tactile than a regular Gator on Brown. Because that bump is nice and defined. You're not like, did I feel a bump? You know you felt the bump. So, all right. Well, that was a exercise, thankfully not in futility. So, I'll go ahead and stick it back in. Now, unfortunately, because there are other, the rest of them are not uh, lubed. The uh, is that a steel or aluminum plate? Let's see. I'm curious. It looks like it's all aluminum. It is. All right, so the top frame is definitely aluminum. So that means that the spring on that switch is definitely minimized, that's for sure. So.
shot. That's W. You do over there. You do over there. So stabilizers on space bar. Same thing. We see those are pretty loose fit. That's an easy fix, but today we're just sticking with stock. I've got it dark in here. I know it's kind of bright because the camera makes up for it, but if these lights are, are pretty dim. Now let me go ahead and just for testing, let me go ahead and put this in. So for Bluetooth, I just had to turn the keyboard off and back on, and then I put it back in the pairing mode. It paired, it took probably three seconds and it was connected and it's now working um, instantly basic basically and I also tried the 2.4 um, that's almost instant um, it's a little bit quicker but once they're connected they feel the same to me um, I didn't do any thorough testing just a quick typing of a couple lines it has wireless capabilities it is low profile it's hot swamp it comes with extra keycaps um, it's not going to sound amazing. It's a low profile, but I think that with a little bit of effort, and I may actually do this. I like the 75% profile. I like that the switches um, did not bend the, the plate in the process of pulling them, as I have seen from other ones. This seems to be of similar quality um, to Nufi Air Series, and I know that's a that's making a pretty bold claim. I just wish that it had the same sockets. Now, that would make it even better because then I could actually upgrade the switches as the only low profile switches I've got are basically the same ones as these Otemu or these are rebranded Red Dragon uh, low profile browns so um, lubing them is really the only thing I can do for the switches but I could probably uh, do a Tempest tape mod in there and I don't know maybe even a little polyfill and see what happens. Lubing the switches and then uh, Maybe adding a Tempest tape mod as well as maybe even some polyfill might add a little bit of more life into this. Yeah, there is nothing between the plate and the PCB, and there's nothing below the case. So adding a little bit of something will help dampen any of those higher pitches. And I think I think I could probably achieve more of a clacky. Um, build not too loud but something I think might be enjoyable I don't know it, it, it may be worth a shot to do that one of these days uh, but right now I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with it stock just the specs today we took a look at the Red Dragon K652 Azure it is a 75% three mode low profile from Red Dragon it has have a Temu hot swap sockets and will only work with switches with the same pinout. It does come with low profile shine through keycaps and actually includes a complete extra set of keycaps that can be combined into two tone or two individual color key sets. It has an aluminum top frame as well as a plastic bottom housing. The 2.4 USB receiver has a pocket on the underside of the keyboard. It comes in weighing at 494 grams and has a battery of 1600 milliamp hours. The chin of this keyboard sits at 13 and a half millimeters from the surface while the back sits at 20.5 millimeters, providing for a default typing angle of five degrees. Raising the included pair of feet, you will raise the back to 28.5 millimeters off the typing surface, changing the default typing angle to nine degrees. This keyboard MSRPs for $69.99, though it is currently on sale for $59.99. So today we took a look at this Azure, this K652 low profile. I got to say, uh, Red Dragon is improving their games over other low prof profiles they've come out with. I like this one um, better. I think it shares a lot of language with uh, the new fee, even the Keychron low profile keyboards. And it's, now don't get me wrong. I, I don't think that this keyboard is bad, but I think that if comparing it to a Halo um, or a Keychron low profile, you're going to tell the difference. Um, while those deliver a better out-of-the-box experience and are made just that 
much better that you can tell the difference. Not that this one feels like it's cheap. It just doesn't feel quite as premium. But I have uh, reviewed some others. Uh, like I said, I can't recall. I'll try to remember and put it down in the description. Uh, it was a low profile that, that had an aluminum top and a plastic bottom, but I could literally bend it with very little force and keys would actually pop out of it so this one is much sturdier than that it has some strength to it it's not nothing's going to happen to it it has a 1600 milliamp hour battery though i don't know what magic red dragon has maybe they do actually have a dragon sitting in their lair but they for some reason are able to squeeze a lot more time out of smaller batteries than i've seen even with royal clutch and other boards though i have not tested the time on this one so um if you're looking for something you know low profile that's half the price um you know and you're willing maybe to do some work if you want it to sound better because not that it sounds awful awful um and it does have you can get this with the with red with blue and with brown switches all low profile uh obviously the travel distance is much shorter than regular switches it would be nice i do have an uh, eusu board that actually shares the same pinout uh, it has low profile switches but have the same pinout as a regular emmet switch which means you can actually replace them uh, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, this does have software. I will be coming back to it, and I'll take a look at it. The software, though, um, I did just open it up real quick. It does have the ability to do a lot of mappings, except for the keys that are already pre-mapped, and then it has prof profiles. But it does allow a little bit of rebinding, um, as long as you're not trying to mess with the ones that are already set up. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of the Red Dragon Azure k652 uh, rocking the low profile red dragon browns and hopefully you guys enjoy it if you guys have any thoughts uh, about what you'd like me to do when i come back to this for a mod uh, please let me know in the comments below and as always keep calm and keyboard on